a great tweet. <laughs> Have my babies, you sexy, sexy man. <laughs> well, I think this is one for my dad. Emotional one, I know. There's no evidence of me rollerblading anywhere. I can't see that saying last one. This is needs a slight lady to this one. If it wasn't for David Marshall, this year would have been utter instead of just I kind of disagree, to be fair. Please ask David Marshall if he's willing to pay for a tattoo of himself on my leg. I'm more than willing to pay for that tattoo, yeah. If I can choose the, what actual picture it's gonna be. D Haggart, 91, so I'll hold you at that, mate. David Marshall was one of my first celebrity crushes. <laughs> I can count as a celebrity, so when he played for Celtic, I must have been about 14. He still looks absolutely gorgeous. I've, I've aged pretty well, I'd like to say, to be fair. If I caught David Marshall in bed with my missus, I tuck him in and ask what he wanted for breakfast. Callum, beat it, you okay? That's a great tweet. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm having a laugh about these, but when you see what what, pe what it means to people, it, it must be quite heartwarming. Yeah, of course, yeah, like going back to that night and stuff, um, well, I'm not kind of on social media and stuff, but people with your friends and that send you stuff, and uh, yeah, it's obviously the Scottish humours, obviously the best um, as well. So um, yeah, it was, it was such a good night, an important night. And you see the reactions in the videos as well. So it's, no, it's all good stuff. I'd name the COVID vaccine David Marshall as it stops everything. Not sure about that to be fair, but um, yeah, I think I get carried away in a moment now. There are not enough words in the English language to describe how beautiful David Marshall is. I am officially declaring David Marshall be to, to be the godfather to my future children. I do not need any more children in my life, so I'm going to avoid that one, Jack. But you say the Scottish humour, uh, are these the sort of things that when your mates are sending you, have you seen any sort of chat like that before today? Yeah, um, obviously I've uh, seen a few naughty ones about um, people offering themselves up to David Marshall, and my, obviously my dad's got the same name, so I think um, he was, he was <laughs> happy with a few tweets. But um, yeah, as you say, it was just obviously, everybody got a bit carried away in, in November, which is, which is quite right. Get rid of Burns Night and swap it for David Marshall Night to be celebrated now and forever on the November 12th. Common sense, era. Aye, <laughs> completely. David Marshall is the best, is the world's best goalkeeper and no one is telling me different. Probably a member of my family, I'd imagine that one. Dear David Marshall, I love you, signed all of Scotland. Too nice, wasn't it? Yeah, there's a few people get carried away here in there in November. My next kid is getting called David Marshall Bradshaw. Fair enough, as long as definitely not mine though. David Marshall is set to become the first male Scottish goalkeeper to play at an international tournament since Jim Layton. Jim Layton is 62. Uh, I feel probably some ways to Jim Layton, to be fair, <laughs> compared to how long we've been waiting to get there. So um, that's an incredible start, really. That is crazy when you hear that. What will it mean to you, though, to be um, when you hear it like that and you start to feel Yeah, it's it such a, it was such a big deal, wasn't it? Obviously, that, that week was obviously a bit of a whirlwind, and then you just move on, you go back to your club, and obviously, you know you've got the Euros coming, so it's, um, yeah, it'll mean a hell of a lot when, when we get there, but as I say, football's crazy, you just need to kind of keep going. and. Keep your fitness and your form up and, and say look forward to, to the summer. We've got such a big summer to look forward to. So have my babies, you sexy, sexy man. <laughs> There's no absolute <laughs> nobody tweeted that at all. I think it was one of you that wrote that. <laughs> if David Marshall doesn't get hit <laughs> uh, I think this is one for my dad. If David Marshall doesn't get <laughs> then I, I don't know what's happening. I Love you, big man. <laughs> I think I've seen that one. Somebody sent me that one in, in November, so um, that's right up there. The better ones. Yeah, but, but, but we had another couple of games after that, so that never happened. <laughs> no, still waiting on that. David Marshall, I love you. Tweeted straight after the game, I'd imagine, but yeah. packs a bit of punch with yeah, the F bomb right. stopped in. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be in love with David Marshall and he's back in the good books again. Must have got taken out of the, the book, I don't know what happened there. Interesting one, but glad to be back in there. David Marshall is one handsome <laughs> Take that. David Marshall on the Hug Me Nay show has made my year. He's the only man I've ever respected this year. Unexpected that call today, the Hug Me Nay show. Like it was recorded a couple of weeks before, but um, yeah, strange. I had a few phone calls and people thought it was live, so there were uh, four of my missies to get in the shot and that and run in. I was like, nah, it was pre-recorded November. Uh, 2020 Hamden Park, 2021 the Sir David Marshall National Stadium at Big Decky 1. Is that Big Deck? Uh, it could well be Decky Big Gallagher. Deck. Is that Decky Gallagher? No, I think he's Deck on Deck Line G31 or something like that. Regardless, it's a great idea. <laughs> it's a wonderful idea. <laughs>
I came to terms with the idea that I might never see a Scotland's men, Scotland's men compete at a European Championship or World Cup again. Miracles happen. Thank you, David Marshall. Emotional one, that enough? What a save. David Marshall, you are now a national hero. You are now up there with Robert the Bruce, William Wallace and Sean Connery. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's a bit of a list, that, isn't it? See, after it as well, when, when things, well, obviously there was the celebrations immediately after the game, but did it sink in almost quite soon for you, like the grand, like the magnitude of it all? Like, uh... Yeah, it did, really, yeah. Um, I've been in the squad for 17, 18 years now, so um, kind of before the game, I know how big it is. Uh, it sunk in for me um, straight away. I knew how big it was, so it was such a big occasion. Like, obviously, there's some young lads in the squad and lads who have been in the squad for maybe a year or 18 months, and it's like, this is the norm. So hopefully, it's the norm for them in terms of going forward as well, but um, yeah, it meant a hell of a lot to me, but obviously coming to the age I'm at as well, so um, no, it sunk in, I know how big it was. <laughs> David Marshall, I once sold you a horrible pair of mad skate shoes in GGB Sports and I told everyone I thought you were a weirdo. I'm sorry, you are a legend, big man. That's just <laughs> lies. That's good. Chris is lying there. Skate shoes, what does that even mean? No, there's no evidence of me rollerblading anywhere, so that's... That, that, that might have been my dag, you know? I'd actually let David Marshall eat toast in my bed. That's a big... You then that one. Big statement, man. <laughs> it's not great that having the old toast in the bed. I can't see that setting last one. This is needs a slightly edited this one. Could and honestly would <laughs> David Marshall the night. <laughs> yeah, I was lucky I was in Serbia that night, wasn't it? And no back in, back in Glasgow, I would have been in trouble there, I think. David Marshall has bigger boz than John Wayne. So, he has got some seriously big boz, John Wayne, so um yeah, some one. good tweets there, so I think that's the end of it. It'd be interesting to see the people know and if they look back and say, why the, what the hell was happening there? I think it just took uh, everybody by shock that night. A lot of amazing night, important night. So um, as I say, the all good banter and as I say, hopefully everybody can look forward to getting there in the summer.